Good morning. So today I want to take you deep into a level of yourself that perhaps you haven't given yourself the opportunity to go into. But I want to start it out with a really fun little story. So this morning I was sleeping and I had a dream that a friend who I don't even know, but in the dream I knew this guy, came up to me and said he wanted his St. Bernard puppies, he had two, to lose weight. And I was in the process of telling him, oh, you know, you don't want St. Bernard, you don't want puppies to lose weight, you want them to gain weight, which is this, that's just a very weird random, random dream. So I woke up and I really didn't think anything of it. I just let it go. And I got ready and um, I was getting ready to go head down the hill to go get a little coffee. And as I walked out, and again, once again, I don't know anybody with St. Bernard. So I'm, I haven't seen the St. Bernard. It's not a breed you see very often, right? As I'm going out to my car, it's raining. Up comes bounding, you know, this enormous St. Bernard puppy. This is a puppy. And its head easily came to just below boob level. I mean, this dog was huge huge, so tall. And of course it's wet and, and he's so exuberant and just so happy to see me. And I'm just like going, how weird, how random, you know? And, but the, see, this is my life. This is who I am. And for me, it wouldn't be re weird or random if I didn't play there. Right. And, um, of course, the owner's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm like, eh, it's, it's the best good morning I've had in a long time, including lots of dog hair. But, and the funny thing was, the owner and I start talking, and, oh, my God, this dog was just enormous. Just, and I mean enormous as in tall. Um, and just, just super exuberant, super silly, super goofy. And the minute the owner said, said the dog's name in his voice and told him to back down, the dog was immediately like, oh, okay. And I want you to think about that energy, that energy of, of a little puppy, you know, scraping its belly along the, along the floor going, hi, 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 I won't, I'm not, I'm not mean, I'm not big. And then I want you to think of the energy of an alpha dog. You know, we've all seen videos of just a, a very statuesque, large wolf um, I don't know, maybe Doberman Pinscher. You could think of all these different types of dogs that were just, they're very self-contained. They're very confident. They walk, you know, they're, it's almost like they're posing for the picture or whatever. Their head is held high. The head is, you know, they're staring off into the distance. The, um, the tail isn't up. The tail's not down. The tail is just neutral. Everything about them just speaks power, speaks this confidence energy. And just kind of think about that for a minute. Um, and the owner was saying to me, we were talking and, and I was just saying, God, your dog is so tall. And he goes, yeah, he goes, I can't feed him enough. <laughs> and, and it was so funny because as he said that, I suddenly remembered the dream and I was like, oh my gosh, life is so, so wonderful. Life is so amazing. So, as we do this meditation today, um, I want you to just be you, okay? There's no way you have to sit. You don't have to have your eyes closed. Um, I love having the eyes closed because as you remove certain senses, that heightens other senses. And that's just me. You know, truly, when we are at our best, you don't have to do anything to access your most amazing self. But um, this helps. So for me, that's, that's just what I'm going to be going into. So I want you just to sit comfortably, whatever you're doing. And again, I want you to just think about the energy of the little wiggly puppy that's close to the ground, that's trying to make itself as small and unthreatening as possible. And you're just, you're in this space of, I'm here, I'm eager to please you. And I just want you to get into that, that, that energy, the eager to please energy. And how it feels very small and constricting and, and 
just making yourself as unassuming as possible and just feel that energy. Don't judge it. And if you do judge it, that's okay. Allow whatever version of you wants to come up to come up. And remember, none of this is bigger than you. Nothing. Nothing we do today is bigger than you. And now I want you to think about that energy of the alpha, the tall, the big, the statuesque. Feel yourself just getting a little bit bigger. And I want you to think about walking into any room, any room, with this energy. The energy of the most confident person in the room. And perhaps in this room are Nobel Prize laureates, perhaps somebody you hold in the highest of esteem is there. And I want you to once again feel that alpha energy, big tall, expansive, and enormously, colossally confident. Enter into this room the queen or the king. Just feel that energy. Feel yourself just let yourself really put on this state. This energy of confidence is simply a state of being, a state of mind. And I want you to think of it as an outfit that you are putting on. And I want you to zip up the front of it. And just feel the change, feel the, the experience taking over who you are. But you animate this outfit of confidence and alpha. You are the one that breathes life into this state. The state did not exist before you put it on. And when you take it off, it just lays on the floor, just like a sock or a shirt you've tossed aside. It has no power. It has no animation on its own. You are what breathes life into every state. And now I want you to go back to the energy of the people pleaser puppy. Back to that unassuming, small, non-threatening. And feel how perhaps it feels constrictive. No need to judge. Just observe the difference in the energy. This is yet another state. That another outfit you've put on and are wearing for the moment, zipping up the front, giving life to the state. And just feel that, feel that wiggly little head low, body scraping along the floor, making yourself just so small, but also very eager to please, eager, eager, eager to please and, and, and have people like you and love you. And I want you to do your best not to judge these states. Just see them as clothing. 
that you put on every once in a while. And then you'll take them off, cast them aside. They are not who you are. You are the animator of these states. These states have no power. They have no life of their own without you energizing them, breathing life into them. And now I want you to once again take off this people pleaser outfit and put on the alpha state. Feel yourself getting tall, exceptionally statuesque. And I want you to think of any rooms you are going to be walking into today. And I want you to think as if it is tonight and you are lying in your bed and your day is over with. And I want you to think back at whatever rooms you walked into as the queen, as the king. The state of being, of being the most confident person in the room. And I want you just to look back at how wonderful your day was, how fun it was to experience a new aspect of yourself of pure confidence, the total alpha of this reality. And not because you are wearing the outfit of the alpha, but because even without the alf outfit on, the state of being of the alpha, feel yourself who you are. The you you were before you stepped into the state of being of alpha and the you you're going to be after you take it off. Feel the calm. Feel that solid knowing of this aspect of yourself. This knowing that no matter what states you put on, what states you don, it is simply an act, like an actor in a play. You put on the costume, you played the role, and then you took the costume off but you always remain. And you have the ability to breathe new life into these costumes. You have the ability to give these costumes a new role. And once again, I want you to think of the state of the most confident person in the room. The state of the alpha. And just feel that space as I say certain words. And I want you just to breathe the alpha energy into whatever words I say. And I just want you to observe what happens. Do not judge. And 
observe it with no more interest than a person shopping and looking at new outfits to wear. Take a breath. Feel your alpha state. Don't force it. I want you to relax and let it just swirl around you. You can't do this wrong. There is no wrong or right to be doing. There just is. Relax and just listen to my voice. Feel your alpha energy as I say these words. Money. Wealth. Riches. Health. Youthful energy. Vibrantly healthy. Deep confidence. Solid knowing. Delight. Smile. Fun. Ease. And in this moment, I want to see, I want you to see you standing in the middle of everything, the universe, the multiverses, you are the center of everything. Don't try to dawn a certain state for this, just let it be. with faith and trust. And feel everything swirling around you. Every energy. Feel it all swirling and forming and eager to please you. You are the center of the universe. You are the center of it all. And there are infinite states, infinite outfits you get to put on and play. Feelings, moods, thoughts, experiences, personalities, individuals, 
group, you get to play it all. Always able to come back to you, the you that is in the center of it all. The you that got to play being 10 years old. The you that got to play being a girl or a boy. The you that got to play being a mother, being a lover. The you that got to play being hate, being the emotion of joy. The you that got to play being depressed. The you that got to play the cell on the leaf of a tree. You get to play it all. You get to don all those states. And when you're done, you take them off. Hang them up in the closet. You are bigger than it all. There's nothing bigger than you. No thought, no teaching. Nothing is bigger than you. You are the alpha. You are the people pleaser. You are it all. There's nothing to fix. There is nothing to break. There is simply exploration of you. Take a nice deep breath in. And I'm going to turn the video off. And don't feel that you need to go do anything. Just be with this current state outfit that you're in right now knowing that it is yet just another state, not an end-all to be-all, not a new way that is the answer. There never has been an answer. There never will be. If you must find an answer, it's always just you. And not one of these states is bigger than you, though you can play there. And that too is just another exploration down the amazingness that is you. Love you guys. Take care.